feature about the Fed Free Shed is are the kickout points on both sides of the lip. Therefore, it deflects off cover like any. When he settles, okay. I was just wondering if you guys are ever going to talk about podcasting. Podcasting, that's a great idea. It's its pretty cool. It's out, well, head on over to .net. Uh, that, well, oh, whoops, sorry about that. Which Not is that. the ultimate solution. To <laughs> 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 Hello, Dan needs to install a pop-up killer. <laughs> like it this week could possibly prompt faster implementation of those planned regulations. Let's go live to John Cranston. Well, Stuart, I apologize for the state of the lighting. We've got a lighting problem here tonight. But I can tell you that a large number of police went into that building. But to find out more, we're joined by John McNamara of Sizewell B. Yes. Mr. McNamara. <laughs> Uh, we believe there's uh, just over a dozen still in there. It looks like about around Richmond right now. But other than that, things are fairly quiet out there storm-wise for us. And we might see a couple... Whoop. Hmm. <laughs> That's weird. I think my computer is melting from the heat. So let me go back to, let me go back to the other office. And uh, who's directing? Casey? Bill? <laughs> Bill? Pull this up i got to run over to the weather office and go to the weather computer and do a few things. And hold on, I'll be right back. Skywatch Neighborhood Network takes us to Wrightsville Beach for sounds of summer. <laughs> oh, that's what I did wrong. Oh, that's weird. Come by. Give fire. wonder how so many of these acts can go unnoticed in broad daylight. Oh, I didn't break it! Which makes some of us wonder how so many of these acts go unnoticed in broad daylight. I wouldn't be a very good jealous wife. Which makes some of us wonder how so many of these acts can be committed in broad daylight. I'll get it! Extreme measures because the doors of most stolen cars aren't even 